Hey, my rainbow cupcakes, it's me and that dancer here. Uh, don't mind me just casually laying down wearing a Marie shirt, but you know, this straightened hair again. <laughs> but it's like, I noticed another dark thing about the UUU series. It's pretty chilling, actually. So if you know the game, the, the, the UUU game, right? If you know the game, and you know the main story, the, the Noah You girls start in the Jukai area, right? And in a later event story, Anzu mentions that she has used her fairy before. There's only one battle where she uses her fairy. The same battle where she dies, which just hurts because I really love the character on Zoo, so... <sighs> anyway, so... That, so it's like, they got, she pro she got ended up, they probably ended up getting summoned. Like, in, betw in between Anzu waking up after passing out from using her fairy, and b before the the death of, of Anzu and Tamaka. So... At the end of the main story, when they all go back to their time, the Noah you girls go back only for Anzu and Tamako to be killed. That's very chilling, isn't it? Makes you think, doesn't it? Plus, it literally it literally just makes full complete sense. Like I mean they start in the Jukai when they're brought into the story, and they'd be in the Jukai when they're when they're fighting with, like you know, with any vertex. You know how it is. So, if they're that doing that and they're fighting with the vertex, they would be in the Jukai, and then when they got summoned, they were in the Jukai and not being teleported to the classroom like everybody else was. So, this just gives you something to think about. It's just something I happened to notice myself. Don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but I sure have. Then again, I probably pay attention to way more details than I probably should. <laughs> But oh well, it is what it is. Anyways, see ya my rainbow cupcakes.